today we have a new memorabilia expert las vegas sports mystery box from amazon on tom was here <laughs> everyone Tom was here back at it with another unboxing video and this time we have uh, from memorabilia expert Las Vegas it's a sports mystery bag or at least that's how it's touted on Amazon uh, this is actually a sports mystery box um, I think what memorabilia expert does is they go to the national which is the national card collectors convention and they have these mystery bags at their table. And you can open it up. And they say the value is up to $250. For those familiar with um, the channel and watch videos around this time last year, I did one of these. And to be honest, I was kind of underwhelmed with it. And so um, they actually ended up sending me a box because of my YouTube video that had a few other Pittsburgh-themed items in there. And I greatly thank them for that. And I always said, this around this time next year, you know, if I, I, would, I would pull the trigger on another one. Because I thought that was really cool that even though I was, you know, somewhat underwhelmed with the box, they still sent me a thank you box with some cool items in there. So, figured I'd give this one a whirl. Give it a shot. See what we get this time. Now, last time... Uh, if you remember, um, I got a bunch of basketball cards, a, um, a few, they were index cards, a lot of index cards um, that were signed by various basketball players. Nobody's super noteworthy except for one was David Robinson. David Robinson's a Hall of Famer, um, so that was probably the no most noteworthy of the bunch. So you really can get arguably anything in these and if you look at the pictures on Amazon you know they're sometimes signed jerseys sometimes cards sometimes signed baseballs I don't even know what sport we're gonna get I don't know what we're gonna get obviously it's not gonna be a signed basketball with this size box not a signed football either or a jersey or a helmet maybe a deflated or anything like that okay so you remember this last year Kind of looks like this has their memorabilia um, thing and it has their nice bag that's not a spoiler sheet they don't have a spoiler sheet okay not a true spoiler sheet like that it just says here's all the things they have up for auction they can do all types of stuff but no, your bag is this this is your bag can i open it um yeah i mean it's like tape Okay. Some things in there. Um, okay. Just cut the tape off. All right. Well, we'll just rip it. We'll just rip it. You can rip it. Okay. But no, the big prize that I got last year was of all the basketball items, one of them was a World Cup 94 oversized upper deck trading card with Michael Jordan dunking a soccer ball and it was a limited print a short print like 880 out of 2500 well i ended up getting that i ended up selling that for the value of the box so i didn't necessarily get 250 dollars value but did get a value for the cost of the box and that's ultimately what i'm looking for i'm not looking for 250 dollars in profit i'm looking for either something i can keep something the boy can keep and if neither one of us can keep it that is something that we could then either sell or trade to get something we actually want okay so we have baseball. Okay. So first time we got basket or first time we got basketball, this time we got some baseball stuff here. And right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. We have a signed 8x10 JSA certed Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench is a Hall of Fame. I think he's he a catcher. He was a catcher, right? Yeah, let me see that. I think he was a catcher. Um, and when I'm, I'm sad I'm blanking on this because if someone asked me, hey, who's Johnny Bench? I would know what he played, where he played, all that stuff. 
Um, but that is definitely Johnny Bench, and that is that's legit. Johnny Bench is uh, one of the top players. Okay, so what do we got here? We got some cards. Okay, we got a few different uh, card selections here. Kind of a sleeve, their sleeve of cards. Are they two sided? No, I mean. I guess. Oh. A little bit of well, there's a couple two-sided. Okay, there are some cards in here. Okay, so we have a lot of New York Mets. Carlos Beltran, Carlos Delgado, Cliff Floyd, Tom Glavin, Anderson Hernandez rookie card. Andrew Hernandez, Lee Mazzolini, Steve Trasco, Julio Franco, Tim Tufel, Cal Matsui, someone, David Wright, Lasting's Millage, Mickey Sasser, John Main. Okay. All right. So a sleeve of I'll tell random you Mets one. players. What do you got there? Barry Bonds. Pirates, Barry Bonds. Pirates. Tony Gwynn. Three Tony Gwynns. Yeah. Um, Roger Clemens. Oh, my God. Um, Scott Erickson. Frank Williams. Oh, my God. Baseball names are weird. <laughs> Oh God. So Roger Clemens, Diamond Stars, Jose Molina, Tony Gwynn, a lot of Tony Gwynn, Tom Bagnazzi, Frank Williams, Scott Erickson. Doesn't look like anything on the back. Okay. So just random kind of cards. Ooh, they're Tom not. Glavin. Yeah, I mean, there's some cards of, you know, they're kind of those 80s and 90s cards where you know you don't really know what the value is now this is very interesting here's that other page this is a bo jackson 12 card set and it looks to be the complete set one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay it's a 12 card set bo 1990 two sports superstar and it's pictures of bo at, it's cards with bo at auburn uh, with the Raiders, Heisman Trophy, the Royals. So there's a lot of cool stuff there. Nice Bo Jackson. Big fan of Bo Jackson. I actually have somewhere here. I think Roberto replaced them. Um, but a Bo Jackson uh, Diamond Kings number one set that's like a gem 10. Uh, I know those cards are not super like... Those 90s Donruss cards are not super over the top valuable. Um, okay. So this says, okay, I think this is like the horse over. Now, okay, so the, uh, kind of interesting cards there. I'd be very curious to see the value of like the Bo Jackson set. It may actually be something I hold on to because I'm a big fan of Bo. Um, but this one here is a Milwaukee Braves 1955 scorecard. And is that legit? Is this a... I mean, the aged paper makes me think that this is legit. Um, I mean, does that... I mean, that's legit, I think. That's pretty cool. That's an interesting little piece of history there. Welcome to Milwaukee County Stadium. Hmm. Milwaukee Braves, 1955. Is that... Who's that? Also lists Pittsburgh, New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, Brooklyn, Cincinnati, and St. Louis. Which must be the, their division, perhaps? Um, yeah, I think this might be legit. Interesting. That's very interesting. I wonder what the deal is there. Because that's a pretty cool... Um, you know, and it's in this nice um, protector sleeve. Uh, they definitely stepped their game up uh, over last year. Last year, kind of like a w kind of weird, like handful of cards. Um, but you know, they really like not in like sleeve. They were in like little like thin sleeves. Yeah, I know. It's like I said. It's a. I I think it's like actual vintage, nineteen fifty five uh, thing. There's one more item left in here. And it is a signed baseball. Two 
2004 World Series officially signed baseball. I think. Jerry Remy. JSA certified. I'm not sure who Jerry Remy is. Here. But it's a World Series baseball. I know who he is. He's a Boston Red Hawks, uh, a Red Sox uh, Hall of Famer. So I know. But how many have ever known that? I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, Jerry Remy, Boston Red Sox Hall of Fame player. Nobody's super like. You know, this would be my first. I like Johnny Ben. Yeah, Johnny Ben. She's uh, this would be my first JSA signed baseball, or my first signed baseball for that matter. And I think that is it. Um, but you know. I would say, you know, and I don't know, I guess, what the value on any of these things go for. Um, but where last time where I didn't even realize that the Jordan one was a kind of like a short print. Um, Wait, this upper is deck an card. official ball. Yeah, it says official World Series baseball. Does that so, mean they used it in the World Series? Uh, no, not necessarily that they used it in the World Series. Although it does look dinged up a bit. Like someone used it at some point. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a legit, like, real yeah, Rawlings baseball. It looks a little weathered. Um, but, yeah, I'm not too familiar with the player. I guess maybe if someone's a fan of the Boston Red Sox... Maybe they know who that is. I mean, they're saying Hall of Famer. Now, is that Boston Red Sox Hall of Famer? Or is that Major League Baseball Hall of Famer? Because that doesn't make a difference. Um, but that'll wrap it up. Pretty cool, pretty cool unboxing here. Um, definitely some pretty cool stuff on this one. And more, um, I guess, noticeably where I feel that the value is pretty good in this one. I mean, factor in, and I did the same thing with this that I did last year, because last year I had a $50 gift card, and I had a $50 gift card this year for my birthday, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to jump in for a sports mystery bag. I'm probably going to keep this. Um, you want to keep the Johnny Bench? Mm -hmm. I mean, Johnny Bench is, I mean, he's one of the top players. I mean, he was, he was probably one of the, you know, in his day, one of the best players in the in the league. Um, definitely, like I said, a, 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 no, a notable Hall of Fame player. Um, but yeah, Johnny Bench, that's a cool one right there. And right there might be the value that I paid. Right in this Johnny Bench one, that may be the value of what I paid right there. F well, 50 bucks. It was a $50. It was a little over $50. I think it ends up being like with shipping. Like, this is like 80 right. I'm going right. to say that's an $80. Okay, you would say that. Um, and then another Hall of Fame Red Sox, even though I'm not familiar with him, um, at the, you know, for being a Hall of Fame player, maybe you're talking another $50, $40 to $50 autograph. Um, whether or not these cards, this Bo Jackson cards, or any of these cards are anything of note, I don't think they are. Um, I like the Barry Bonds card. Yeah, that's a, I, I remember having that card in, in my day. But the problem is, is that they had what's called... A lot of these cards are from what's called the Junk Wax era. Where they made... Cards got super popular. And they made so many cards. That cards from like 1985 to like the 2000s. Maybe even like 2010. Um, and I don't know what the the actual junk wax era, like the wide range of it is, but just that some of them were end up worthless. But this Bo Jackson here set is very interesting because I've never seen this before. It's just like a Bo set. Um, so it'll be very curious to see kind of, you know, I'm going to do some eBay hunting around to kind of check values and check some of these names. Um, but that'll wrap it up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are new here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon like John Bailey did, you can do so. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, you can do so with Spreadshirt, as well as links to my eBay store, Facebook page, Instagram, and Clubhouse. How do you feel about this box? Or this bag? The sports mystery bag from Amazon. Good. Because it's pretty of the, cool. the cards and the baseball and Johnny Bench. Okay. All right, he feels good about it, so I'd say that wor that's worth it to me. 
But, um, you know, we have another um, unboxing coming up this next week. Have some things coming in. Um, so until the next video, we will see you soon. But until then, bye, everyone. Bye.